OPSI. OPSI Open PC Server Integration is a software distribution and management system for Microsoft Windows clients based on Linux servers. OPSI is developed and maintained by UIG GmbH from Mainz, Germany. The main parts of OPSI are open source licensed under the GNU Afero General Public License. Features The key features of OPSI are Automated Operating System Installation OS Deployment Software Distribution Patch Management Inventory Hardware and Software License Management Slash Software Asset Management Support of multiple locations of tool for automated installations is important and necessary for standardization, maintainability and cost saving of larger PC networks. OPSI supports the client operating systems MS Windows XP, Server 2003, Windows Vista, Server 2008, Windows 7, Server 2008 R2, Server 2012, Windows 8. 1. Server 2012 R12 and Windows 10. The 32 and the 64-bit versions are supported. For the installation of an OPSI server there are packages available for the Linux distributions Debian, Ubuntu, SLES, Univention Corporate Server, CentOS, RHEL and OpenSUSE. Automated Operating System Installation by a management interface, a client may be selected for OS installation. If the client boots via PXC, it loads a boot image from the OPSI Depot server. This boot image prepares the hard disk, copies the required installation files. OPSI uses the automatic detection of the necessary drivers for PCI, HD audio, and USB devices. OS installation via disk image is also supported. Software distribution. For the automatic software distribution some software, the OPSI client agent has to be installed on each client. Every time the client boots, the OPSI client agent connects to the OPSI server and asks if there is anything to install default. If this shall be done, a script-driven installation program OPSI Winst starts and installs the required software on the client. During the installation process, the user login can be blocked for integrity reasons. To integrate a new software packet into the software deployment system, a script must be written to specify the installation process. This script provides all the information on how this software packet has to be installed silent or unattended, or by using tools like AutoIt or AutoHotKey. With the OPSI winced steps like copy files or edit the registry can be done. The OPSI client agent can also be triggered by other events or by a push installation from the OPSI server. Patch Management the mechanism of the software deployment can also be used to deploy software patches and hotfixes. Inventory hardware and software. The hardware and software inventory also uses the OPSI client agent. The hardware information is collected via calls to WMI while the software information is gathered from the registry. The inventory data are sent back to the OPSI server by a web service. The inventory data may import it via a web service to a CMDBEG in Otters. License Management slash Software Asset Management The OPSI License Management module supports the administration of different kinds of licenses like retail, OEM, and volume licenses. It counts the licenses that are used with the software deployment. Using the combination of the license management and the software inventory, software asset management reports on the number of free and installed licenses can be generated. The license management module is part of a co-funding project and not released as open source yet. Support of multiple locations. The software to be installed can be deposited bandwidth, saving on several depot server. The configuration data can be stored and edited on one single server. OPSI Server The OPSI Server provides the following services. 
The configuration server stores the configuration data of the clients and provides the methods to manage these data via a web service or the command line. The data can be stored in files in OpenLDAP or in a MySQL database. The depot server stores software packages that may be installed on the clients. To provide support for multiple locations, multiple depot servers may be controlled by one configuration server. A TFTP server provides the boot images for the OS installations. A DHCP server may be integrated in the OPSI server. Management Interface For managing OPSI, a graphical user interface is available as an application or as a browser applet. Management is also possible with a command line tool or via web service. License The OPSI core features are open source according to the GNU General Public License version 3 and are free of charge. The core features are software distribution or software deployment, OS deployment and hard and software inventory. These free components can be supplemented with closed source add-ons that require the payment of a fee. They are called co-funding projects. Co-funding projects. Even though OPSI is open source, there are some components which are not for free at the moment. These components are developed in a co-funding project. This means that these parts are only available for those customers who paid a contribution to the cost of development. As soon as the development of a co-funding project is refinanced, the component will be part of the free OPSI version and can be used free of charge. It will be open source as long as not prevented caused by technical reasons. The first of these co-funding projects was the OPSI support for Windows Vista slash Windows 7. It was completed on 1 February 2008 and is free of charge since 1 March 2010. The source code was divided from the not yet paid parts, is open source since 30 November 2010. At the moment January 2011, there are three co-funding projects. Treeview builds hierarchical groups of clients to manage, MySQL is backend for all data, and the license management module. The main focus of co-funding projects is to create software once for a pool of purchasers who share the cost and make it open source as soon as it paid in full. References and Sources